Hello everyone, my name is Nam Huynh. I'm from uh, the Photoacoustic Imaging Group at uh, University College London. Uh, today I would like to talk about our high resolution for pre scanner for photoacoustic and optical design imaging. Here's the outline of the talk. Uh, first I'll give a brief description of photoacoustic imaging and our imaging system uh, with some examples of our patient studies. Then I'll discuss how the same system can be used for all optical to cell imaging and dual mode imaging. Uh, finally, I'll give conclusion. In photoacoustic imaging, nanosecond laser pulses are typically used to excite the tissue, and the excited tissue uh, can generate ultrasound and that propagate back into the skin surface. And the signal can be detected using ultrasound sensor and then reconstructed into form of 3D images, um, something like this. And photoacoustic is well known to be very suitable to image blood vessel thanks to the strong absorption uh, by hemoglobin. Here's the schematic of our uh, system, and the main component is the fabriparot uh, sensor. It's the uh, interferometers with two um, diacrypt mirror and a polymer spacer in, 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 in between. Uh, when OGSI hit the sensor, it will deform the sensor and the transfer function will be uh, a mode. Um, we can read out uh, this information by using uh, a one or multiple uh, focus optical beams with the right bias wavelengths. And the beam can be rasters and uh, scan around the sensor to map up the whole uh, ultrasound uh, field and then we can start into 3D images. Um, this is a broadband system, so it can produce uh, high resolution images. It's uh, very sensitive uh, given the small element size. Um, uh, in here, we are showing the 64 beam imaging system, and with uh, 200 hertz uh, excitation laser, uh, we could reach um, the A line rate up to 12,800 uh, per second. Here's the uh, photo of our clinical scanner prototype. Uh, the scanner head is mounted on an articulated arm, so it can be placed on a different part of the body. Uh, this photo show a 2D garble mirror scanner head. Uh, we have also developed a MEMS scanner head, which uh, is a lot smaller and lighter. Um, this photo show a probe that developed for endoscopic uh, applications. Uh, since most of the uh, clinical study were done uh, using uh, this scanner head, so in this talk I'm uh, only show the images obtained by the garbage based uh, device. Let me show you some examples of photoacoustic images obtained by uh, the system. Uh, we typically scan 10 to 20,000 points, uh, no averaging. Laser affluence is below skin MPE, and uh, we use case space uh, method for image reconstruction. Uh, 3D images can be acquired in a few seconds, uh, or you know, with less than two seconds, uh, depends on um, size and imaging modes. Um, the system allows um, the monitoring mode where you can perform 3D dynamic imaging at 1.5 hertz. Uh, the video showed the blood uh, reperfusion uh, on the uh, fingertip of the volunteer uh, during a cup occlusion challenge. Uh, with subsampling and uh, compressed sensing techniques, we can obtain good quality images uh, with only about 25% of the data, uh, as shown in this example. And another way to increase the speed is that uh, using a faster laser. And in this example, uh, we're showing uh, an image like this can be obtained within uh, 0.3 seconds uh, with a 1 kilohertz uh, fiber laser. Um, 2D images uh, can be obtained at 30 hertz frame rate uh, with a 200 hertz laser. And I'm showing here is uh, the example where um, the wrist has been scanned and this is the pulsating uh, radio artery and we can measure the size to work out um, the heartbeat and it's turned out to be about seven, uh, 70 uh, bit per minute. I'm showing here in this slide uh, some of the images from our patient studies. First is uh, the images from patients with mild condition of uh, peripheral vascular disease um, and here are the images from uh, more severe cases. Uh, more uh, tortured uh, vessel was seen here 
and in this case the uh, abnormal structure of the valve could indicate the um, venous um, inefficiency. Uh, in another study where we were looking at skin involvement in breast cancer, um, this is sometimes uh, it's not so obvious uh, with conventional uh, techniques like ultrasound and mammography. So identify uh, accurately the Z-free uh, margin to guide resection is uh, very important. Um, so the photo show two press uh, uh, from the same patients. Uh, these uh, they look quite similar in terms of skin color. Uh, ultrasound image uh, review a small tumor um, on the right press. We acquired uh, PA images at a similar location uh, around the nipple of two press. Uh, and uh, on the tumor size, the PA images review a uh, significant denser vasculature uh, distribution compared to uh, a normal one. To uh, obtain uh, all optical ultrasound imaging using the same system, um, we uh, attach a carbon nanotube uh, PDMS composite on the sensor. Uh, and the excitation, so we excite the membrane and generate a, blend, a broadband blend way over the sound. Uh, detection and reconstruction um, uh, are similar to PA imaging. Here's the uh, 3D image of a uh, human lymph node and uh, obtained by uh, all optical ultrasound. And here are a few slices to compare um, the B mode uh, images from a clinical ultrasound scanner. Uh, so you can see a, a great uh, correlation between the two modes. And we also try in vivo imaging on human finger joints. And uh, again, you can see all optical ultrasound systems successfully obtain the same structure as shown in a clinical ultrasound system. Uh, similarly, we can replace the uh, carbon nanotube membrane uh, uh, by a dichroic membrane. In this case, it's a gold nanoparticle PDMS composite. And with this one, we can uh, uh, produce and do more imaging by switching the excitation wavelengths. And here's the uh, result from uh, a in vivo uh, human finger joint. And uh, with the all optical ultrasound, we can see the skin and the joint, um, but missing out the uh, small blood vessels. And those, plus, uh, those blood vessels can be uh, uh, visualized using the PA uh, imaging mode. And if we uh, overlay the two, uh, images we could uh, provide uh, one uh, two mode uh, 3D image uh, like this. To conclude, I've shown briefly the Fabri Pro Ojasa sensor and our multi-beam uh, scanner prototype uh, which can provide uh, video right to the imaging. Uh, 3D images can be obtained under two seconds and uh, we can do dynamic 3D at 1.5 hertz. I've shown briefly some of the examples from our patient studies and I've shown some of the um, images from all optical ultrasound imaging and do more imaging. And I would like uh, to thank everybody in uh, the UCL Photographic Group and our funders. Thank you.